We'll guide you through how to restore your iPad from a backup on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, if you can, make sure your iPad is unlocked. And then what you need to do is connect it to your Mac. So just go and grab its cable and plug one end into your iPad and the other into your Mac. Next, you need to open up Finder. So go to the bottom left of your Mac and press on Finder. And the left here, scroll down until you see locations and you see your iPad. So click here. It will take a moment to load and you'll see some information about it. And you want to go and click on General just here and scroll down to Backups. And then what you want to do is go into the bottom right of the Backup section and go and click on Restore Backup like this. And then we'll have the option to choose a backup to restore it to. So if you click here, you may have quite a list uh, depending upon how many backups you've got. And you want to make sure you choose the one you want. So in this case, I want this one here. And then I'll go and click on Restore like this. Then you'll need to click on Erase and Restore again, and it should then go and start the process. Now, you may go and get a pop-up saying something about Find My being activated on your iPad and it need turning off. If that is the case, you'll just need to go and turn it off. So open up your iPad and go to your settings and you can go and disable it. It will tell you how to do that. Now it's saying restoring and on your iPad, it may go and say restore in progress as well. After it's finished, your iPad may go and sort of reconnect itself to your Mac and disappear. And on the iPad itself, it will go and say hello and you can go through the quick setup process. It'll go and say restore completed. Then press continue like this. And what you'll need to do is go through a quick setup process of your iPad. For example, choosing your Wi-Fi network, and then you can do things like setting up Touch ID, and there's a few other things as well. But after that, then everything is going to be back to normal on your iPad. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.